Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Uwem Akban. It is such a pleasure to have you watch today's video. And if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do so. Hit the subscribe button and let's get going. I want to speak about do good. Just two words. Now, we serve a God who is good. Jesus Christ, our Savior, is a good, good father and friend. So if God is really good, like we do repeat and say, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Now, if God is good like we say he is, then we that trust and rely on him should do good. Because it is a symbiotic relationship. It is mutual. You cannot trust in God and not do good. It doesn't work. It cannot work. It cannot be. Because how do you trust in a God that is good and not be able to do good? His life should rub off on you. That is why you are a Christian. You are a follower of Christ Jesus. Scripture talks about Jesus that when he came to earth, he walked on earth. And one of the two things that he did is everywhere he went, he did good and healed all that were oppressed. That was what represented the life of our Savior. He did good. He did not just talk good. He helped people. He had compassion for people. And that is the kind of heart God is calling us to have. Now, why am I making this video? We are living in a culture that is, you know, progressing towards wickedness. Such that even when you are trying to do good or you are a good person, you feel like doing good does not work. You feel like doing good will not pay you. You feel like doing good will get you hurt because you are actually afraid at this point that your good might kill you. So you are afraid and you are trying to withhold yourself from doing good just to save your life. And I understand. That is why I'm making today's video so that you will not allow people to manipulate you emotionally you not let people to make you feel a certain way because they tell you, oh, I asked you for this and you did not do it for me. Now you feel bad because you really would have done it. Scriptures in Psalm 37 verse 3 says, trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. The reality is that for you to be able to really do good, in the context of what God calls good, not the context of what we as men, as humans call good, you need to trust and rely on God and have confidence in God to be able to do the real good. Sometimes somebody can come to you as a human, tell you fake story, lies, just to get you to be moved emotionally to do good for them. And that is the first point I want to make that doing good is not about feelings because in truth you will not always feel good about doing good and you should not always wait for a good feeling before you do good because if you do that you are doing good emotionally that is not trusting in the lord and doing good what do i mean here doing good in the way god wants you to do it will mostly come out of a place of faith not out of a place of feelings, which means you would listen to God. God would speak to you and drop a prompting in your heart to do what is good. And I will be real with you that when God tells you to do what is good, sometimes you might feel like that is not God. When God tells you to be kind to people, sometimes you might feel, ah, that's the, that must be the devil. I should give how much again? To who? My enemy, the person that did not appreciate, oh, this person that did this to me, did that to me, I should do this. No, no, not possible. That must be the devil. No, the devil cannot tell you to do what is good. Only God. So that is why doing good is not about emotions. Your emotions should not be what leads you to do good. You should be led by God through his prompting, his spirit inside of you if you are really a follower of Christ. Jesus was not moved emotionally to do good for people. He was moved by the Spirit of the Lord because that is the compassion of God that comes from within. And you and I as children of God, because this video speaks to me also, that when we want to do good, we should rely on God to do good. 
We should not just move by our emotions, by how we feel, by how people make us feel, by the words they tell us, by the stories we hear, but we should listen beyond the story to the Spirit of God. If the Spirit of God tells you, no, you got to move. Jesus did not heal all the sick people in his time of being on earth. Why? He is God. He had the capacity. He had the ability. He was able to do it, but he did not heal all all the sick people he only healed the sick people that were receptive to his healing which means no matter the good that you're going to do if you're not led by god you do good in places that will hurt you and i get the aspect of the fear of trying not to do good because you want to save yourself because we've heard a lot of stories of friends who were kind to people they called friends who were good to people they called friends and those ones ended up hurting them and this is what I want to encourage you with. If you do good, really, and God asks you to do it, and you were led by God, and you were confident in God in doing it, as scripture says that you should do everything as unto the Lord, which is you did good in faith. You did not do it to expect. You did not do it to expect something. You were not good to your friends so that your friend would be good to you in other seasons of your life. You did not do it as you pay me back with this, but you did it as God will pay me for this good. And which is how all of us should do good. God will pay me for this. Not with a transactional mindset, but you know in depthly that every good you do, God pays you. God is the one who makes you live in safety, who makes you prosper. If you do it with that sense, no matter what comes as a result in the immediate time, God will always turn the hands of time and bring about good, even when at present what you did might have shoot you into some kind of trouble. And if you want to dig on that, talk about Joseph a little bit. Joseph did good. He said, how can I do such a wickedness when the master's wife approached him to sleep with her and sin against God? How can I do such a wickedness to my master who is good to me? How can I do such a wickedness to God who has been good to me, who has left his presence with me? He said, no, I can't do this. What did that good do to him? Landed him in prison. So now... Being a smart human, you would be like, whoa, never say no to your master's wife. <laughs> Anyways, that's not the point. Delete that. You cannot say so. You have to look beyond what happens next to what happens at the end. Because scripture says that the end justifies the means. There are people that take shortcuts and get what they want to get. And all of us will clap for them. Whoa, wow. Smart person. They walk through favoritism all their life, eye savings and all, and get things done immediately. We all feel like they have arrived, they have made it in life. And it looks like doing good does not pay. Doing good will not pay. But Joseph went through it and said, I'm going to still keep a good heart. Even in prison, he kept a good heart. Everywhere he went, he kept a good heart. How? Because he trusted in God. This is why I'm saying if you cannot trust in God and if you do not really trust in God, you cannot keep a good heart. You cannot be good. You cannot do good because it will take the grace of God for you to be able to walk good and do good in this wicked world with the kind of humans we have around us. So Joseph, at the end of the day, stood out from all the wickedness that was done to him. You meant it for evil. God meant it for good to the brothers. And it applies also even to Potiphar's wife. She meant it for evil. You know, you said no to me. I'm going to deal with you. Even in your office, sometimes you could be doing good and you are expecting that your good would lead to you being recommended. Your good would lead to you being seen. Instead, it's giving you a bad rap. Mm. They are mocking you. Look at your life and all of that. But does that mean doing good will not pay? Good will always win but it will not win in the immediate gratification. Good may not give you immediate gratification, but it will always win. Doing some kind of taking shortcuts might give you the immediate gratification you need, but then it will not last. And the reality is that you should go with God. You should walk this walk with God. If you are doing good, do it with the mindset that I'm doing this as unto the Lord. I'm doing this by faith. 
I'm not doing this to expect somebody to recommend me. I'm not doing this to expect somebody to look at me and be like, oh, that brother is such a good brother. I am doing it because I know that God alone sees my good heart. And that is how it should be. It is not because these people, upon all the good that I've done, have not seen my heart. Who is going to repay you? If they see your heart and tell you thank you, has that repaid you the good that you've done? So that should tell us differently. Whatever good you are doing, don't let your emotions be so messed up that you forget that you are trusting God in doing this. And then let me get to this. When you do good, do not allow people to manipulate your emotions about it. Because sometimes people can tell you to give them something and truly you do not have it. And then they end up making stories about you. Just look at, look at him. He has just stingy, just this. And you know truly in your heart that you wanted to give, but you did not have. Their story should not get to you. The scripture says you should not be condemned. I think that is 1 John chapter 3 and around the 21 to 24th verse. It says God knows your heart. So if people condemn you, and even if your heart condemns you, God sees your heart. And God will not and does not condemn. So the whole thing is that it's always about you and God. Which is, whatever good you do should be done by faith. Such that if you walk in the street and the Spirit of the Lord does not say you should give something to that beggar, do not give because you are moved emotionally by their condition. Give because you are moved by God and you hear a clear prompting to do it. Because doing good in this season that we are walking in has to be with wisdom. You have to really walk with God in confidence to ask of his wisdom while you are being good to people so that your good will not lead you to be hurt. That is in terms of you giving out something or doing something good for people. But in the aspect of just being a good person, just live your life and trust God with it. With the way you walk, with the way you do things. And scripture encourages you in Galatians about this as I'm closing. It says, and let us not lose heart and grow weary and faint in acting nobly and doing right. For in due time and at the appointed season we shall reap if we do not loosen and relax our courage and faint. The reality is that it's not easy to do good. And you have to admit and know that it is not easy to do good unless you are doing it to puff up your shoulder. Unless you're doing it emotionally when you feel good. And that is not the way God says you should do it. But if you are truly doing good from your heart and you have a good heart towards people, you're compassionate, it will not feel good. And you have to do good in spite of how you feel. It would always feel good to forgive people that hurt you. It would always feel good to be kind to people that have been bad to you. This is why you have to know that it's not about how you feel. It's about what God tells you to do. You are trusting God. You are to be like him. We were his enemies and he loved us, came for us, accepted us. So if God is leading you to do something good for someone, maybe this video might be for a particular person that is watching right now. If God is leading you to do something good for anybody and you don't like that person, do it. In spite of how you feel, do it. Move with it. Because there is a reward from God for safety for you and also for your prosperity. It doesn't matter what you think in your heart at that moment. Since it is God that leads you, you can do it and be rest assured that you are safe. You just have to be wise also in doing good generally, in living life generally. But don't be weary. Be wise about it. Don't be weary about it. Do not give up. Do not faint. Do not say, I'm not going to do good again. People are wicked. People are unkind. People are bad. I'm not going to do good again. I've given up on being a good person. I will join the shortcuts team. I will join the WhatsApp group of people that are taking the shortcut. <laughs> no, don't join the WhatsApp group of such people. Do not join the team of such people. Even if they entice you, do not consent. Move with God. There is a reward in working with God. 
and I believe that this video will speak to you and help you. And there's a lot more to say, but get in the comments and let's talk about this. See you in my next YouTube video. Bye-bye.